you didn't believe in the rapture, you still might not believe in it. But you've been left behind. There's millions of people all around the world that disappeared. Men, women, children, babies, infants out of their mother's stomachs. There's terror and panic everywhere. People who were riding as passengers in cars, boats, buses, trains, airplanes. The pilots and the drivers have disappeared and those who are riding in them have died. Horrific deaths. There may be earthquakes. There may be tsunamis, murder, raping, pillaging, looting going on everywhere around you. You're confused. You're scared. You pick up the phone, call everybody you can possibly call. You have no idea what's going on. <coughs> so many are missing. Family, friends, co-workers, neighbors, gone. The world's going to be in a huge panic. But one man's going to step forward. He's going to make everybody give me something that they're going to believe. That man is Barack Hussein Obama. He's going to tell the world that aliens took us because we had to go away. He'll conv convince the world. You see, the Holy Spirit will be gone. The Holy Spirit is the governor. He's the one that keeps evil in check. When he's gone, with the bride of Christ, with only a tiny bit of him remaining it because he's omnipresent, people will believe anything. They'll be grasping at straws to believe whatever they can find. And they will buy it, hook, line, and sinker. Most Christians who are left behind, the backsliders, will see all their Christian friends, pastors, ministers, Facebook and YouTube gurus, televangelists, they're all here. They're going to say, hey, Obama was right. It was the aliens because it was just those Jesus freak, holy roller, Bible thumbers like Paul Kidd. They got taken away. We're still here. And then is when all hell began to break loose. There's a time called the tribulation and great tribulation. Seven years of hell on earth. They will rip the world with its foundations. It, it might not begin right after the rapture. There could be a break of days, months, even years before it starts. But time as you know it is going to be gone. The old days will be gone. It's going to be a world, a hellish world, that very few will survive. And God says if he didn't intervene, there'd be no flesh left alive at all. It's going to be horrific beyond your wildest imagination. There will be wars in Israel that you'll see. And Israel will win. And then God will actually win a huge war for Israel when Russia, Iran, Turkey, and all the big nations of North Africa will all come and have Israel's back to the wall, but God will intervene and wipe out all of Israel's enemies. Israel will expand her land immensely. There's going to be judgments coming upon the face of the earth. You're going to have plague, famine, and pestilence, and disease. It's going to wipe out a billion and a half, two billion people from, on the face of the planet. Terrible, awful deaths. You're going to have some kind of a heavenly body, probably an asteroid, hit the oceans and wipe out another one and a half to two billion people. It'll poison the water, wipe, kill the oceans and lakes and rivers and streams. You'll have a huge army coming down, wiping out another half, one and a half to two billion people. Terrible deaths. You're going to have 100 pound hailstones coming out of the sky, just tearing things up, just tearing things to pieces. You're going to have demonic poisonous insects coming out of the pits of hell that will sting for months at a time. People will want to die, but they can't. The sun's so hot, it will kill you or give you horrific burns from just going outside. There'll be things like you won't even believe can even possibly happen. You can possibly imagine. There'll be something come out where they will say that you need to take this mark in your forehead or your hand to be able to buy and sell. That's the mark of the beast, my friends. And people will flock to it because they've been building up to it with all the latest technology, the RFID and everything else people are putting now in their hands and even in their foreheads. They're already primed to it, like sheep going to the slaughter. With the Holy Spirit gone, few will have discernment to be able to understand what this is. And even fewer still will be willing to trade their life for this mark. They, they would rather live now with the mark and die, spend forever in, in, in hell, in the lake of fire, in torment, than to lose their, the human body. And Satan knows that. Because until you face death in the eye, like I have dozens of times in frontline combat, you don't know how you're going to react, but most people will react as cowards, and Satan knows that. It's human nature. It's going to be a time that's going to tear this world to its foundations. Israel will re rebuild their third temple, and halfway through this seven-year period, the Antichrist will come into the temple, desecrate it, declare himself God. He will take over, and that's when he'll start an all-out war on the Jews and Christians who refuse the mark of the beast. A third of the Jews will hide in Petra, which is over in Jordan. The Antichrist won't be able to see them there. God will protect them. But it's, the Antichrist is going to be wiping out everybody he possibly can. There's going to be terrible, horrific times beyond your wildest imagination. So the question is, 
What are you going to do now? How are you going to make it to heaven? This is your last chance. What can you do? Well, your, chance, your choices are one. You have one choice. You can accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Again, the Holy Spirit will not live in your heart like he does now. If you can't do it now with the Holy Spirit in your heart, backslidden Christians, how are you going to do it during the tribulation? Satan knows you're not going to be able to for the most part. He's laughing at you right now. And the unsaved, the same thing. Why not come to Jesus right now while you've still got a chance with the Holy Spirit to help you? Because when the tribulation starts, you'll be running for your life, you'll be starving, you'll be just homeless, and you'll be captured, most of you, tortured, and beheaded if you refuse the mark of the beast. The only way to make it is to get saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood, refuse the mark and die, or somehow be able to hide out if you want the lucky few until Jesus comes back again with me and those of us who got raptured comes back again, and he wipes out all the bad people on the earth, starts, sets up his, his um, thousand-year reign in Jerusalem, which is called the Millennial Kingdom. Now, on, sun, on Saturday, I'm putting in my Sunday sermon where I'm going to cover the rapture in depth. I've got four pieces of scripture that absolutely proves the rapture's pre-tribulation. There's no way you can refute it. If you want to know the truth about the rapture, watch my video on Saturday, because most Christians don't believe it. Most of the world don't believe it. They've waited so long for it. It hasn't happened. Trust me. I'm going to show you some proof on Saturday. Right now, if you've never been saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood, or if you're a backslidden Christian, pray this prayer with me before your time runs out. I know I talk fast. If you can't keep up, I'm going to have it in the box below the video title as well. You can pray it uh, as soon as the video is over and do the six vital next steps because no one's guaranteed any more time in their life. So let's pray. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day. I'm back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father and make a place for your children forever. Please forgive me of my sins, wash my heart white as snow, come live in my heart, make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it, amen. If you'd like me to pray for you, contact me and I'll pray for you every day. If God answers that prayer, it's all because of him, it's nothing to do with me. Also in the box, below the video title, I'm putting my Tribulation Survival Guide video. It tells you how to get saved during the Tribulation, what to expect A to Z. Christians, keep witnessing and praying for the lost. If they won't listen, it's between them and God. If you want... Make sure you share this video with everybody you possibly can. Everybody can get the word out. To anyone you know who's unsaved or backslidden, get the word out because they have to know the truth before their time runs out. True Christians, look up. Our gift from Darth and I, we fly soon. This video was very concentrated to keep it from going too long, but I wanted you to hear enough to understand what's going on. And if you want me to pray for you again, contact me. I'll pray for you to be saved. Give me a, just give me a buzz on messaging. I love you all. May God bless you. And wake up before your time runs out. Take care. Bye.